Hey, what's up, everybody on the Webernet? How are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to show you guys a next level modding thing that you can do. Uh, it's um, removing stock apps with terminal emulator. Now, let me say this first off. Um, if you guys wind up bricking your phone doing this, I'm not responsible for that. I'm just showing you, showing you guys how to do it. If you guys do it, it's at your own risk. Okay, so first thing you want to be is rooted. You want your phone to be rooted. If not, this will not work, and the applications that you need to get will not work. So I suggest uh, if you're not rooted, Google search intercept root dot apk and um, yeah, follow the steps to rooting your phone. Once you're rooted, um, basically there's two applications you're going to need. I'll show you them on the, the application doc. One is linked to SD. You're going to need that. It's an icon of a SD card that's blue. And another one you're going to need is Terminal Emulator. Um, yeah, you're going to need those two things. Now, the reason why I say linked to SD, there's another video out there that shows you how to do this. And uh, they used the Astro File Manager and went through this whole extra step of finding the, the, uh, the path to each application. And this one is just much easier. Because you're going to be using link to SD if you partition your SD card, and um, to find the path is actually under the name. So, application I'm going to remove from here is email, and uh, let me just find it really quick. And there it is. So as you can see, it shows me system backslash app backslash capital email like capital E on email dot apk. Um, you have to type it out the way that it is, otherwise terminal emulator will not register it. So let's back out <coughs> and open up terminal emulator. Now, if you want to make sure you're connected in terminal emulator, just type in the word free and hit enter. And it's just going to bring up like your SD card, your, your partitions and whatnot. So as you can see, we are, we are connected. Uh, terminal emulator is working. So the next step you're going to type in is SU for super user permissions and a pop-up that has been granted super user permissions will come up. Now you're going to type mount space minus O space RW comma remount space backslash system hit enter. Once you're in, it'll have like a hashtag next to it for your next command. And so this is where we're going to remove the email app. RM space minus R space backslash system backslash app backslash capital E M A I L dot A P K. Hit enter. Now it's gonna look like it didn't do nothing. It's gonna drop down to another line. Doesn't mean it's not. It hasn't removed it. It's not gonna tell you that we have removed email or whatever. So you hit the menu button, close window to leave terminal emulator, and now when we go in, email is gone. <coughs> That's my daughter. She's just being fussy today, guys. Don't mind her. And uh, now that you open, uh, if you want to double check, you can open up link to SD. And scroll through your list. And you will not find email anywhere. I took email off because I already have the Gmail app. What's the sense of having both, right? So in between DUN and Facebook, there would be email that is now gone uh, real quick applications that you don't want to remove you don't want to remove maps um, or any any content that's related to Google you do not want to take off so gtalk um, you don't want to remove it just because the phone starts to act buggy hence the fact that the Android operating system is built by Google so some of these stuff are needed you can't take off browser, 
as long as you have another browser like Dolphin Browser or I think it's like Skyfire or something like that, um, you can have those in there. Um, then you can remove browser. Um, if not, I wouldn't suggest it. I keep it there, you know, just just to have, you know. So hopefully you guys found this uh, video helpful for you guys. And uh, leave comments below if you guys have anything. I'll put in the description box the commands that I just typed out in Terminal Emulator. And again, I'm not responsible if you brick your phone for not, you know, listening to uh, directions or just because you typed in something wrong. Um, don't be intimidated by terminal emulator I was at first but uh, you know when I typed out to remove something and I typed it wrong it didn't damage my phone it just told me that the command could not be completed um, because it doesn't exist so obviously if you type in something that doesn't exist it's not gonna go and start messing with files but still it's not a novice modification so uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, yeah see you guys next week